Welcome back everybody. Last time we were going up grand stuff to get to this guy. We have finally caught up with him. You understand nothing. Shut the hell up. This world is so incredible. Why have you not come to see this over the past thousand years? Let me ask you, what remains that keeps you in this world? His eyebrows? Sure, you felt the myriad of feelings interwoven in these people's lives. Don't you think the energy that evokes such feelings is incredible? The joy and sorrow they feel. The energy that keeps them alive. Inherent in all people. If I am infected by this virus called emotions, I welcome it. Shut the hell up. You say you find feelings incredible. How can you possibly attempt to control them? It is because they are incredible that I covet their power. And I have come to know this desire through this world. As long as people live, I shall acquire unlimited power. And this body shall truly be immortal. Why do you not see how much better it would be to experience the joy of infinite power instead of the burden of your physical body? Oh, please! People who talk on and on about power are rarely sane. That's right! You tell them! You tell her, Mama! Oh, God. <laughs> you understand You're nothing. freaking crazy, Gungor. That is true. Notice that Cook and Gungor are wearing the same shoes. Or same boots, or whatever you want to call it. I shop at the same store. There can be no death for the likes of us. Our fight would be unending. Shall we entrust our fates to mortals then? What? Okay, what are you doing, Gungora? Oh, you Jensen in the face. Jensen wasn't good at dodgeball as a kid, folks. What have you learned from all the distasteful tasks I assigned you to? Was it not one of my rules that you should never bring anything unnecessary into your place of work? To bring mortals here is little better than putting ourselves in shackles. Don't you agree? You're crazy. Shut the hell up. Rise, Jensen. <laughs> you shall now earn the money. Mantis? Anyways. Jensen is being controlled by Gungora. Your captains are futile. You cannot break the spell. Before he left Uran with Kai, he entered into a contract with me. That's when he took the money. Yeah, so pretty much that was part of Gungora's plan from the beginning. Jensen accepted the money and Gungora trapped him. And now we have to fight Jensen. Or Puppet Jensen. Not to be confused with Puppet Ganon. And... Yeah. It's pretty much a fight you're not meant to win. It's basically a story driven fight, that's about all I have to say. It must be easy for you to kill this world. After all, you've seen countless other deaths. Alright, that's gonna go by real slow, I know it. Jensen's gonna just like cast spells on you as either than Told him everybody's protected. At this very moment. <laughs> Even after he's lost self control, he's still concerned for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm not even being hurt. You cannot save this man, despite what you feel. You immortals should understand this better than anyone. You think Jensen would be using more powerful black magic spells? Or unless he could be that he does have some form of control. Dude, shave those. At least if he goes bald, they can just take it from his eyes and transfer it to his head. You know, if that's what his eyes look like, imagine what his ass looks like. Ah, uh, here we go. Gumbora finally does what he wants to do, and that cast the uh, Ultima? I guess it's Medio? Medio? I don't know. I'm not sure what spell that is. But it apparently hurts like hell. Everybody has been knocked out. Oh, it burns. Our contract has been fulfilled. Get out of my sight. Jensen. You are all so pathetic. Only half as pathetic as you, Gongora. Mortal fools is nothing but a waste of time. <laughs> Shut the hell up. You know what? Stop talking. Time only deepens our thoughts, Gongora. Kick your ass. These thoughts. May appear ephemeral to us. I don't know what ephemeral means. But their impact can last forever. My knowledge Is extends to video games, that's to it. Learn in a thousand years, time. Oh shit. Wait, Gungora. If you're talking to us, then uh who's driving? Uh, crap. Smooth move, Gungar. Seriously, where'd you get your license? Magic Tower License. Alright, well, Grand Staff is toast. I don't know if they really ever explain what he crashed into. I don't know what... I don't know if that's... I don't know anything about what the hell's going on, to be honest. I'm a bit confused. I guess those are the mirrors. I'm like a god. I guess so the people on his side, I don't know. I swear his eyebrows just got bigger. Oh! And the funky collapsing music plays. So you know this shit's going down, people. Sorry, I'm just kind of listening to the music and bobbing my head. Damn good music, I tell ya. Alright, 
Emergency, emergency, yeah, we all know the drill. Everybody knows what to do in an emergency. Run like hell. Come on. Hang in there. This is no place for us to die. Come on, Mac. Okay. Sarah's still got the cute crown on. I don't know, I wonder what's the cutest outfit you can equip on a character. Damn straight. Uh, oh. Oh, I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. It's okay, you're just drunk. A little too much drinking again. This isn't your fault. Does it help? Only below the waist. Yeah. Gonna kiss you better. I'm so sorry. I, I couldn't control oh. myself. Okay, well, you know what? We can talk about it after the building finishes collapsing. Yes, okay, Grand Staff is collapsing. I know. Shut the hell up and let me go. So you gotta make your way down, like we did at Experimental Staff. Down we go. What the, I was saying something, but uh, I don't remember what it was. Also, I should talk into the mic more. I'm sorry about that. My voice probably sounds pretty funny. You gotta make your way down. So make sure you remember how the hell to get down. You can still pick up treasures, but it's not as important. I, I wouldn't bother with it. Should have plenty of time. Don't bother fighting anything. It's not worth it. Obviously, just get your ass out of here. That's all I have to say. Also, this episode might be slightly longer because there's still a few little things I want to fit in. Uh, I'm only selecting left because it is the closest option. Oh, okay, well, we'll go left again. God, I hate this so much. I really do. Descent. Will I descend now? Yes, I shall. Descend again? No. Didn't think I was going to get that lucky. Seriously, come on. Go down, damn it. Down. Down, down. escaping the from me. Down, down. I can quit now because we're at the end. Can I go this way? No, apparently I didn't want to go that way. Which do I want to go? Oh, treasure chest. I don't know which way I want to go. Okay, this isn't good, people. Okay, I don't want to go. There they are. God damn camera angles. This game really does a good job with the camera angles, I should say, but an annoying one. Get on this elevator. I'm tired of being attacked. I think this takes me where I want to be. Yeah, we want to go up here. See, plenty of time. Oh,
Yes, sir, Sid. So a lot has happened in this episode. And I'm sorry for the long time. Did we really need a cutscene for that? So there we go, we've landed. World, but we don't belong here either. Our existence here only invites chaos. Even without magic energy, immortals have no place here. And yet you plan to remain, Ming? We should go back. Is that what you want, Kaim? I know you said you have no need for the past, but what have you learned over the last thousand years? There are things here that I don't want to lose either, but our mission is clear. We must go back. Stop! I don't want to hear that now! So many things have become important to us in a thousand years' time. As they should have. That's what's kept us alive till now. I thought you were alive because you were immortal. But so we have okay. to stop Gongora, right? He'll destroy everything that's important to us. There's only one place Gongora will go. Yes, the Tower of Mirrors. Good thinking, Tolton. And Seth. 